Hello YouTube. Um, I don't know if you can hear it. I'm having a pretty bad storm right now. But um, today I'm going to do a purple smoky kind of look. This is what it looks like. Alright, um, on this eye I have already used my e.l.f. eyelid primer. I already put on my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk underneath there. And I've also taken it upon myself to go ahead and outline where I'm going to be um, kind of smoking with my Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. I used um, Bloodletting. It's this cream shadow right here. I don't know. Can you see it? Kind of right here. And I just kind of used that and I outlined about where I was going to put it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this started. The first color I'm going to be using, I'm going to put it in the inner corner of my eye. It's this purple right here. I don't know, can you see? Yeah. It's pretty light. And it's just going to go in the inner corner, about the length of the brush. Make sure you tap away the extra so you don't have a lot of fallout. Because fallout is a pain in the ass. Alright, on the next step, in the middle of my eye and going into the outer corner is going to be this color right here <clears throat> I just want to go ahead and let you know after I smoke it out I am going to be touching up these colors on the inside of my lid just because the, the purple has you know you'll see you'll see I'm going to apply that right in here blending it into the purple so it isn't very harsh and um, I'm instead of like a sweeping motion, I'm kind of just packing it. That's what I'm doing. I'm packing it on there, I'm trying to get the best I can out of this color. All right. And with those two colors, I just used a regular eyeshadow brush. The next brush I'm going to use, I'm going to pick up my blending brush. It's like this. This is what it looks like so far. I'm going to go back to my Kat Von D um, palette. It's I never told you what it was, which palette it was. But it's the Love and Fury, you know, collection. And the next, next color I'm going to be using is this color right here. It looks purpley and sparkly in real life, but it's really not. You did, that's what I'm disappointed in with this palette is it's not sparkly at all. It's this color right here. I don't know, can you see? No, you can't even see the sparkles. It's supposed to sparkle, and it doesn't. So, I was a little disappointed, but it is still a very good palette. So, I'm going to pick up some of them. Oh, yeah, I didn't tell you the color. It's Ace of Spades. I'm going to pick this color up. And I'm going to start on the outer corner. I'm just going to pack it in right here and just sweep over. You know, making it smoky. And it's okay that this this side is a lot darker than this side because I'm going to show you what we're going to do to fix that. Don't even pick up any more of this color. Just sweep it. Just sweep it. Like that. It's about the shape I want it to be. And I'm done with the Kat Von D palette. Put that aside because now we're strictly going to be using the um, Sephora 5-in-1 color play palette. That's, that's all we're going to be using for right now. But right now I'm going to touch up all the colors I used. Smoke that into it a little bit. You see? See, it's kind of lightening up now. Going into the second color. Now we're going to do our highlight. And, and instead of it being a white highlight, my sister, um, my sister Allie, she saw the picture I posted on Facebook of it to begin with, and she said it was a little, you know, much on the white. And I agree with her, so I'm changing this up. I'm going to use, um, instead of a white highlight. I'm going to use this color right here. It's a neutral color, which makes it perfect for blending some of this dark purple out. Or Ace of Spades. That's the actual color. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right here. I'm packing. I'm going to pack it first. And then I'm going to blend it. In a circular motion. 
since this is skin colored, I don't really care that I'm going on, you know, over here. It doesn't really matter. Like so. Now I'm going to wear, going to apply our liner and I'm going to use a liquid liner, which I'm starting to get faster at. I was pretty slow at that. Like so. And I'm going to line the lower lid. And before I add mascara, I'm going to put in a little bit of white in the inner corner. First, I'm going to take um, a little bit of my next Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil and Milk. I put it on a brush. For the inner corner, can you see? Yeah, you can see it. I'm gonna tap it right in there. Use my finger. And I'm just gonna use a regular old white. There's no sense in showing you. We all know what white is if we went to school. <laughs> okay, now apply mascara. I strongly, strongly suggest false eyelashes in these looks. They always look better, but I am out of glue. So I'm having a big do with mascara. But false eyelashes look better. I'm going to pick up my um, concealer brush I used earlier before the video. And to get this line kind of straightened out, just sweep up because it still has concealer on there. So it's going to make that line real fine. Like so. Next, we're going to apply brush. Wait, brush. Blush. And you know on my blush, I use the um, angle contour brush instead. I'm going to use this color because it's more, I don't know, not so dramatic. Because I want most to focus on my eyes. Just sweep it on there. We're not going to use a lot. Go on the apples. Go up. And also on the lips, um, it's Bubblegum by e.l.f. Just a little... Hyper shine gloss. You just sweep that on there, Claire. I don't know why I bother talking to you guys when I'm putting lip gloss on. Cause I know y'all can't understand what I'm saying. All right, this is the finished look. I like it. It's a really, really fun look. Um, well, I guess that's all I have for you today. Rate, comment, subscribe, and please, please, please send me requests. I'm begging send me requests. Alright, peace, love, and makeup. Hope y'all have a good day.